What is up, Film Geeks? My name is Trevor, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a different type of video. It's like a free Disney Blu-ray haul. I don't really know what to call it, but I was going to wait till the end of the month to do this, but I figured, you know, why not? I'm so excited about these. So the story behind this is my girlfriend's been signed up for a thing called Disney Movie Club for the longest while, and I didn't know she was still signed up for it, but basically what it is, like, they give you, like, I guess, discount on Disney movies, and if you want it, you accept it, and you pay for it monthly. So she had a stack a nice stack of them when I was at her house the other day. I was like, what are all these? And she said, well, I get them. Like, I don't watch them. She doesn't watch them. So she's like, you want them? And I was like, yes, please. I'm the Blu-ray. I love physical media. So obviously I had to take them. And I was like, dude, all these fire Disney movies. So can't wait to get into them. We're going to talk about them. So um, first up is one of my favorite Pixar movies, if not my favorite Pixar movie, Toy Story 3. Nice slipcover and everything. I mean, oh, okay, same thing. But like um, Toy Story 3 she had. And I was like, I just didn't know she had any of these, so it's like it's like Christmas for me, you know. If you have free movies for me, it's the way to my heart. So she had Toy Story three. I about lost my mind because I don't own Toy Story three. In fact, I own none of these movies. So I was like, oh my god, freaking out that she had Toy Story three and I got it. So um, all these movies I absolutely love. So I'm so happy that I got them now. Next up, we have Frozen two. I know lots of people aren't big fans of Frozen two, but uh, look, let's look at this slip cover. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this movie so much. I sing the songs regularly, and I know lots of people aren't big fans of this one like my buddy chris from filmstock he like hates it actually but i think the story works i think the villain who would not really a villain but i think like the overall antagonist of the film actually works and the songs are fantastic christoph's song into the woods or lost in the woods excuse me is absolutely fire i love that movie and i love all the songs and um when olaf sings when i'm older samantha Oh my god, I love everything about Frozen 2. Next up is one of my top five favorite Pixar movies, Coco. Again, look at these beautiful slip covers. If you know anything about me, I'm a sucker for good slip covers. And um, Coco is definitely the most visually pleasing Pixar film, in my opinion. I love everything about it. And fun fact about Coco is that I actually wasn't a fan of this when I first saw it in theaters. And then when I rewatched it last year, I don't know what it was, but I fell in love with it. I watched it four times last year. All on Disney Plus, and she had it on Blu-ray. I'm a physical media guy. We didn't watch in physical media, but I have this now. I want to own all the Pixar movies and all the MCU movies and everything like that, but I have this now. I'm so excited I have it. And again, that slipcover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me know what you guys think down below about Coco. Remember me. Oh, it's so good. Then um, next up is a movie that I've watched for the first time since like daycare on the other day when we were flying home from Florida about a couple weeks ago, The Little Mermaid. I mean, just first off, look at like the colors on that is so gorgeous, so beautiful, but The Little Mermaid is fantastic. I didn't realize how great this movie actually is. And we rewatched it on Disney Plus, obviously, we we're flying home. And I fell in love with it. Ariel's great. Ursula's a fantastic villain. Prince Eric is absolutely awesome. Very handsome guy. And Flounder's the ultimate sidekick. But, like, Sebastian, you can't really see him because there's a sticker on him. But Sebastian is one of my favorite little side characters in the Disney movies. And Ariel might be one of my favorite Disney princesses. If she's counted as a Disney princess, I'm pretty sure she is. And they're making a live-action remake of this. And Lin-Manuel Miranda's making the music for it. So, obviously, I'm going to be excited for it. But... I fell in love with Little Mermaid. Probably one of my top five favorite anime movies of all time. I love it that much. It's so dang good. This isn't a movie I love that much, but she got Captain Marvel. And um, this movie's fine. It's lower tier MCU for me. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Definitely a snoozer, especially after Infinity War leading up to Endgame. We got Captain Marvel, but um, I own it. Woohoo! Um, next up is Lady and the Tramp. She So she got this one in the mail, and I bought her Lady and the Tramp long time ago and um she got this one in the mail and i was like blah, 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 oh my goodness um i'm not the biggest fan of this one uh, don't get me wrong it's a cute it's a good movie and that's such an iconic scene of the dogs they're slurping the spaghetti together it's an iconic movie for that alone but like it's something about it didn't really sit with me like the little mermaid which i love so much i thought i would love lady and the tramp so much not the biggest fan of it it's still good but um definitely not my favorite then next up we got the three Ice Age movies, I absolutely adore these movies so much. I think they're so much fun. And she got this the other day. It's kind of why I find out, found out she was on the Disney Movie Club is because she got these from for Christmas and then she sent them and then she opened them the other day. And she'd never seen these, but they sent them to her. And I was like, what are those? I love the Ice Age movies. And she's like, oh, Disney Movie Club. Henceforth why I have this stack of movies now. But um, the Ice Age movies are fun. We have Ice Age. Then like the fourth Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaur. is kind of weird we didn't get a sequel. But they also have a Christmas special in there. So that's a lot of fun. Um, the Ice Age movies, at least the first two are pretty good. But the first one especially is really, really good. And last up, we got hercules um one of my favorite animated movies of all time but hercules and meg one of my favorite love stories in any disney movie ever 
Uh, this one I'm really excited about because I absolutely love Hercules. Redheads, bro. I can play Hercules. Come on, Disney. Call me. Call me. I can't sing. They're very good, though. So, never mind. But um, Hercules is just... I watched this a couple years ago with my girlfriend, and I fell in love with the characters. I fell in love with the story. I fell in love with Hades, one of my favorite Disney villains. Fun fact, Hades isn't on the front cover. You have uh, Phil, Pain Panic, and you have Meg, Pegasus, and Hercules, but no Hades. And he's one of my favorite Disney villains. I absolutely love Hades. I absolutely love these movies, so... That right there, I was going to wait till I end my Blu-ray haul at the end of the month like I always do, but I got so excited about it, I had to show you guys. So there it is, my um, Blu-ray Disney, free free Disney haul, whatever you want to call it, free, I don't know what to call it, I'll figure it out, I guess, but awesome, awesome, awesome movies that my girlfriend gave me, I'm so excited about them, so um, thank you guys for watching, definitely a different, more laid-back type video, but Blu-ray videos are very fun to make, so thank you guys so much for watching, lots more videos coming this week, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button for me, help me out, bro, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, peace!